Hello everyone, it's me Uncle John. Today I am going to read S3 3020 Louis and Clark, A Prairie Dog for the President by Shirley Ray Redmond. In 1803, Thomas Jefferson was the president of the United States. The country was still new. It was also very big. It was so big, no one had ever explored it all. President Jefferson wondered how long it would take to reach the Pacific Ocean. He wondered what the land was like along the way. The president rode to his friend, Meriwether Lewis. Lewis was a soldier. He wanted to be an explorer. Lewis' buddy, William Clark, wanted to be an explorer too. Lewis and Clark went to see the president. I need someone to explore the West, said the president. We'll do it, said Lewis and Clark. The president told Lewis and Clark to make maps and explore rivers. He told them to collect plants and draw wild animals. Most important, he told them to send presents. Louis and Clark needed helpers for their journey. They took soldiers, scouts, and boatmen. Louis even took his dog. It was a long trip. One of the scouts brought his wife, Sacagawea. Sacagawea was a big help. She picked nuts and berries. She cooked meat and stew. She talked and traded with Indians they met on the way. Out west, Louis and Clark made maps. They explored rivers. They collected plants. They saw animals they had never seen before. They saw buffalo, they saw grizzly bears, they saw jackrabbits with long ears. They drew pictures of the animals. They tried to catch some of the animals to send to the president. But the buffalo were too big. The grizzly bears were too dangerous. The jackrabbits were too fast. The president will think we have forgotten him. They worried. One day, Louis and Clark came to a prairie. The ground was filled with whole holes. A little animal sat by each hole. What are those? asked Louis. Just then, a hawk flew overhead. The little animal barked. Then they dived into their hole. Let's catch one of those rascals, Clark said. They are small enough to send to the president. The soldiers took shovels and picks. They dug and dug, but the little animals were too fast. Let's flood them out. Louis said the man carried water from the river. Louis poured the water into a hole. Clark and the soldiers waited beside the other hole. They waited and waited and waited. Then one of the animals popped up. I've got it, said Clark. Clark put the animals in a cage. I wonder what it is, he said. Louis laughed. It is a wet rodent. You can call it a ground rat. No, said Clark. It looks like a squirrel. I call it a barking squirrel. Squirrels don't bark, said a soldier. Dogs bark. We should call it a prairie dog. <laughs> That's it, Louis and Clark agreed. Louis and Clark picked the scout to take the prairie dog to the president. Clark also gave the scout some birds to take. They were called magpies. Louis gave the scout a letter for the president. He gave him plants that he had collected. The soldiers gave him buffalo skins and deer horns. Have a nice trip, said Louis and Clark. The scout and the animals rode a barge down the river. They boarded a big ship in New Orleans. The ship sailed around Florida. Then it sailed north to Baltimore, Maryland.
finally, the ship, ship landed in Baltimore. The scout put the animals and the other presents into the back of a wagon. He paid the driver to take everything to President Jefferson in Washington, D.C. The president met the wagon at the White House. He picked up the prairie dog's cage. Is this a, a gopher? He asked. No, said the driver. I think it is a woodchuck. President Jefferson read the letter from Louis. So they named this creature a prairie dog. He lives on the western prairie and barks like a dog. The president gave the prairie dog a piece of apple. Chump! The prairie dog gobbled it right up. The president laughed. Americans will want to see this little fella, he said. I'll send these fine presents uh, to Mr. Peel's museum. Mr. Peel's museum was in Philadelphia. The prairie dog and the other gift rode in a stage coach to the museum. It was a very bumpy ride. Mr. Peel loved the pres presents. He sent pre President Jefferson a thank you note. The prairie dog is a pleasing little animal. He is not at all dangerous, like a groundhog. He wrote. Mr. Peel put the cage in a sunny room. Children came to see the prairie dog. Artists came to draw its picture. The visitors touched the buffalo skins and the deer horns. They stared at the magpies. The American West must be a wonderful place, they said. The West was wonderful. Lewis and Clark were gone for two years exploring it. In November of 1805, they finally reached the Pacific Ocean. They were heroes. If you travel west today, you can still see some of the sights Lewis and Clark saw. You can see grizzly bears and buffalo. You can see jackrabbits and magpie. And if you are lucky, you might even see a prairie dog. This is a true story and Lewis and Clark were real explorers. Mr. Pill was also an artist. He painted these pictures of Lewis and Clark and put them in his museum. Today the museum is called Independence Hall. The End.